Hey, hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishnan. In our previous video, we learned how to add a database to our Spring Boot application. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to introduce the GRID repository in order to do a you know, GRID operation on top of the database. Let's see how to do that. Right. So before going to do that, I'm going to create the package, new package called DAO, that is a data access object package. Inside this package, I'm going to create the new interface. I'm going to select the interface. I'm going to call this interface actually what, you know, customer DAO. So that's my interface, right? So the interface is created. So now this interface has to extend the other interface called what, you know, grid repository. You can see that, you know, the grid repository actually takes two argument a uh, two generic type or uh, one is actually what you know the type of the class that we're going to deal with and then what you know the, the unique id of the class we'll discuss what is that so obviously we since we are applications the customer management application we have what you know customer class with us so i'm going to mention what you know customer class now let me import the class okay i imported the class now if you go and see inside the customer class so what is the ID for this customer class, right? You know, we are considering the customer ID is the unique value for what? Our customer records, right? So now we have to mention, so what is the type of the customer uh, ID? So it is integer, right? So I would say my ID type is actually what, you know, integer, right? So now we created this. After doing this one, you have to annotate this interface as such. This interface as actually what, you know, repository right so once that is done we have to do few modification in our customer class so we have to convert this customer model class as what you know the entity so have to do that so you have to annotate it as actually what you know entity so make sure that the entity class from javax dot persistence api jpa api jpa package then you have to mention in my entity at least one attribute should be the primary key right so the primary key can be represented using what you know the id attribute make sure that you are selecting everything from what you know java x dot persistence api right so then i want this id to be generated if you look at if you look at our customer service class we are kind of actually what you know starting with what a customer id count as a one then we are increasing the customer id based on what you know each and every insertion but when we are trying to perform the database operation obviously that customer id should be generated implicitly right so how to achieve that so for that you have to use the annotation called you know, generated value inside the generated value you have to pass a, pass a property called a strategy equal to then the strategy equal to what you know auto when you say auto i want to I want this particular customer ID should be generated automatically whenever you know I'm trying to perform the insertion, right? So we we created the interface, we extended the grid repository, then we added what you know the what is the type of the class that we are dealing with, then the ID type of the particular entity, right? So everything is done. Now what we have to do, let me actually what you know introduce one more annotation. So if you go but go to what you know your Spring Boot. Uh, a main application you have on top of the spring boot main application you have to introduce one more annotation called enable jpa repository please you know make sure that you use this one because we're going to use what you know the jp uh, you know i mean uh, related we're going to because we're going to perform the jpa related activity you have to tell your spring boot that i want you to enable jpa repository uh, you know uh, things in order to perform the activity right so let me select that so these are all the changes you have to do so once everything is done i'm simply going to what you know run this application hold on you know we are not we had to actually do what you know the logic changes as of now we are not actually still we are not doing any insertion updation deletion logic on the database we will be doing it later so i just want to make sure that all the configuration are fine if the fine in the sense your application should be started successfully without any cups let's see what is going to happen now you can see what you know our application is started that means what whatever configuration we did so far it's actually what you know correct 